yo what's up everybody js here with another video now today's video i've been searching for the best way to do this and this is going to be the best settings for you to do with your instagram reels and story because the ratio is the same so before we start make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button hit that destroy destroy the subscribe button and the like button it helps out the youtube algorithm and this is going to be a quick video so let's get started So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is jump into Final Cut Pro X and let me show you guys exactly what you're gonna do. So you guys see that I got on my Final Cut Pro, I have exactly what my file is gonna look like. Now, this is my actual intro that I'm that I'm using uh, for my Instagram, it's usually for my YouTube, but I wanna put this on my Instagram and you might wanna do the same as well. So you have to do some ratio changing, some aspect ratio changing because the format is really like, it's different. So this is what you should do right here. Take your video, when, once you're done, it's always gonna be in 4K, 3840 by 1920, whatever you have, you can change it vertically for the story mode and reels because story mode, story and reels is a different aspect ratio for the actual vertical ratio for uh, Instagram. If you wanna know that, write a comment down below let you guys know in another video how that works after you got this all dialed in and this is what it looks like what you're gonna do is simple and easy you're just going to take your whole project shrink it down so it'll be easy for you to copy it you're just gonna highlight the whole thing highlight everything that's in it command C on the Mac copy it now then you're gonna go to file you're gonna go to project now, if you don't already have this dialed in to your, uh, into your Final Cut Pro, I will show you how to do it, it's easy. Um, but on mine, it has vertical, boom. But when you hit vertical, it says 720 by 1280. That's something you don't want. You wanna make sure you still do 23.98 uh, frames per second because that's what you wanna use. However, when you do vertical, this, the ratio is right here. 1080 by 1920 is what you want for your reels and your story. You can change it just like that. However, if you can't do it like that, if vertical just doesn't happen to be on there, just go to custom, go here, go 1080 by 1920, and then boom, you're set already. But since this is already plugged in, I'm just gonna go to vertical, gonna go to 1080 by 1920 because that's what you're using, and then you're gonna hit okay. Now that is gonna bring up this right here, which is, I already have it plugged in. All you do is just you come in, this is gonna be blank, watch this. That is gonna be blank, it's gonna set, set it up like this. It's gonna be blank, you're gonna come in, you're gonna hit Command V, and boom, it's gonna paste in everything that you just had on your other, uh, other little uh, video right there. Now the next thing what you're gonna do is, you see you got all these big black bars right here, don't worry, I'll help you out with that simple and easy now you if you don't have a lot it's it'll be easy but with me you can see I have a lot going on here I got graphics I got words I got everything on here so what you want to do is you want to be able to see everything that's on your list everything that's on your video but the main thing you want to do is take whatever you have highlight it right just click it make sure it's highlighted you're going to go up to your little film strip right here and what you have to do for every clip is you're going to have to scale it out until it fits the whole screen just like that that's what you got to do you're going to have to scale it out scale it out now you can see right here i got these texts and i couldn't really move it so what you do is you double click whatever it is and it's easy to get back because you can hit this little back arrow and then you can see it but right now you can see i already compounded it which means i brought it together now what you're going to do is so i can fix that text right there the, the black version of the text here and this is the black version of the text right here i'm going to take that And 
I'm going to move it over a little bit. And with the shapes, I'm going to move this shape over a little bit. And then I think we should be set. But I kind of like the way it looks anyway. So look, boom. And I still need to move it over. So I'll take it, take my shapes, center it. That's what you have to do for this whole thing. You have to center the whole project for the 1080 by 1920. Fix our Y and our X axis to make sure everything's in the middle. And this is what you're gonna do for the whole video. So let me go ahead and I will fast forward all of this. And there you have it guys that is the whole project in a nutshell that is the whole project completed for your instagram reels and story modes so i'm gonna show you exactly what this looked like from start to finish it's only 17 seconds so just watch it everything looks pretty good in place you always want to make sure you check and just make sure everything is good at the end Boom, and there you have it. Just like that, it is completed. And that is what you can use for your Instagram stories and your Instagram reels. Super easy, super simple, uh, complete edit. I would advise that you guys, if you guys are interested in doing something like this, put some words on your Instagram reels, Instagram reels or stories. It gets a uh, better engagement than just putting an actual video on there. Um, make sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe button and YouTube and Instagram if you guys learned something today. So let me show you how to finish this now. What you're gonna do is, you're now gonna shrink it down again so it's easy to see. And you are going to highlight the whole thing again. Command C, copy the whole thing. Now, if you have a Mac, you're gonna to wanna to go to File, Share. Now, most people get this a little confused and messed up, but what you're going to do is go to Apple Devices 1080 so that the file is small enough for you to airdrop. Give it a good name like uh, this is called my intro 2021 Instagram story mode. Or you can put real. real. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I don't generally save stuff onto my computer computer i always have hard drives that i save it onto but this is going to go into my youtube's folder and i'm just going to drop it into my social media to post because i already have a file that i already saved to and you can see i have a few other ones that's already here save it there and then once that is complete you should be able to literally save it to your iphone basically by airdrop now let's say you don't have a iphone what you can do is you can get the Google Drive app and then what you can do is on your computer you just save it to your Google Drive and then on your Google Drive you can go ahead on your app and save it and get it right to your phone right away which is pretty easy pretty simple so that is how you do that guys if you guys got some good information out this video hope you guys enjoyed it please go ahead and hit and destroy that like button destroy the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in another video in another day any comments you guys have please be sure to hit it below and I'll make sure I get to you Peace out. See y'all guys in another video.